Hello, Grace Point family. It's a joy to be back with you again for these five-minute devotions. I hope you're sharing them with your friends. And thank you for the feedback you've given us. It certainly means the world to me to hear from you. I want to share with you, continuing this little series of messages, we've been talking about things that God wants us to know. And what I want to talk to you about today is it's an absolute privilege to be a Christian. We live in a day where it seems like people want to think that they're doing God a favor when they come to Jesus. And that's not the case at all. It's actually the opposite. There's a great text of scripture in Isaiah chapter 33, and in verse 15, there's kind of a description of what the difference that Jesus makes in our life really makes. And and when we read these words in verse 15 of chapter 33, it says, A Christian is one who walks righteously, he speaks with sincerity, he rejects unjust gain, he shakes his hand so that he does not hold a bribe. It says he stops his ears from hearing about bloodshed and shuts his eyes from looking upon evil. To the person who's in Christ Jesus, it is an absolute privilege to be a Christian. I've often said that in church, you know, I used to say when I was a youth minister, it's a privilege to be in the youth group. It's not some kind of a right that you have. It's a privilege. Listen to me. It's a privilege to be a follower of Christ. It's a privilege to be a Christian. Well, this text goes on and tells us four different reasons that's true. Number one, it talks about our position that we have in Christ. When we're in Christ Jesus, we have a whole different position. It says in verse 16 this, he who dwells on the heights. When you become a believer, when you become a Christian, your your life eternal begins at that moment. We're actually citizens of heaven right now. It's just a delay till we get there. But you want to think about that. God rescues us from this world and we have eternal life in him. That's our position when we're in Christ Jesus. Then he talks about his protection in our life. It says this, it goes on to say, his refuge will be like the impregnable rock. Listen to me, when you're in Christ Jesus, we have the privilege not just to be in the position of being a believer and being a child of God, we also have his protection over our lives in supernatural ways that we never see with our physical eyes. God protects us. That's because it's a privilege to be a Christian. The the, the fourth thing I want to share with you is the provision that we have in Christ. And it goes on to say this. It says, his bread will be given to him and his water will be sure. I don't know about you, but I can share the testimony in my life that God has always been faithful to me. He may not have given me everything that I wanted, but he's always met every need I've ever had. When you put Christ first, he meets every need in your life. And so being a Christian, again, is a privilege. And in that privilege, we had the provision of God to care for us in all things in life. And then the last thing is the prospect that we have. Because we're in Christ Jesus, because we have the privilege of being a Christian, we can look forward to the future with a smile on our face and with hope in our heart. The Bible goes on and says it this way, your eyes will see the king in his beauty. One day we get to see him face to face. Think about this. They will behold a far and distant land. God has prepared a place for those who are in Christ Jesus. And that's the final part of this privilege of being a Christian. Listen to me. We have a position in Christ Jesus. We have his provision in our life to take care of us. And finally, again, we have the prospect of knowing that we're going to spend eternity with him in heaven. Listen to me. I hope you'll take a minute today to thank God for the privilege of being a Christian. Let's pray together, okay? God, we love you. And I pray for every person, Father, that's watching this. I pray, Lord, your blessing on their lives. And I pray, God, there be humility in our heart as we think about the joy and the absolute privilege it is to be a Christian. Thank you for being our Heavenly Father. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for caring for us. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I hope to see you next time.